Ever click on something and get no result? Have a phone call drop for no reason? Have your video stream screech to a halt? Meet Dave Tot. Dave's on a mission. Dave's building a faster, more reliable, and less annoying internet. In particular, he wants to make video conferencing and gaming possible while downloading music and movies. Today, due to buffer bug, when you try to do that, it often just doesn't work. But hold on, what was that again? What is buffer bloat? Most network devices today have been built with way too much buffering. This messes up interactive traffic like voice and video. It turns out that finding an algorithm for the right amount of buffering on the network is a 30-year-old, mostly unsolved research problem. So we set up a crash project to find an answer. We think we found fixes for buffer bloat, and we need to get our stuff from the lab and into the real world as soon as possible. So you created Surawart to do that. Surawart's a hot rod at home router, a project that's got every idea we've come up with to make the internet faster and more reliable. It's been a research platform for the entire group uh, for converting the buffer bloat fixes from theory into reality. So a few weeks ago, we were approaching a major new release. And you'd like your researchers to get valid results. These are complicated algorithms. It's important that our users focus on the research and not the bugs in the network stack. We're pretty sure that our code works well and it's time for other people to use it. But our bits are only a few thousand lines of code. There's millions of lines of code that we might have broken along the way. So you contacted Interworking Labs. Your Maxwell Pro test suite pushes the boundaries of every TCP, IPv4, and IPv6 implementation. We thought we were ready. So we put Sarawart through the Maxwell test suite, and we found 45 bucks, including a crash bug. Finding that bug alone was worth the price of admission. So Interworking Labs just improved the quality of your technology. You just improved the quality of everyone's technology. Hopefully we'll get a couple million machines fixed this year and a few billion the next.